What's going on E39 Source Channel? This is Hassan and today I'm going to be introducing my 2000 M5. I've had this car for a couple months now and I uh, thought I'd make an intro video for you guys to see. So uh, this car is a 2000 like I mentioned. This is anthracite metallic on a silverstone full interior. The car right now has 87,000 miles on it. Uh, I purchased it with just about 82,000 miles. Um, so I've put about 5,000 miles on it since I purchased it and uh, so far it has been an amazing car. Uh, I'm coming from a 2002 uh, 530i so same, uh, not the same car but you know E39 and there's a lot of similarities but there are a lot of differences as you can probably uh, expect and um, I'm very happy with it. So we'll go ahead and just do a little tour of the car, tell you guys a little bit more about it. I'm the fourth owner, and uh, the first owner owned this car uh, for about a year and a half. Uh, the second owner, about the same, so um, he also owned it for a little bit over a year. And then the third owner owned it for the rest of its life uh, until it landed in my hands. You can probably tell that the exhaust is not stock. This is a Kellner Sport exhaust system. It came on the car, and uh, I'm very happy with it. It sounds very deep, and it's not, you'll hear later this video, I'll, I'll do a little sound clip, but it's not very loud, which is what I was hoping for when I saw the advertisements for this car. I didn't want it to come with a really loud exhaust system, and other than the, the mufflers, everything else is stock, so you'll hear it. It sounds um, very nice in my opinion. These are the stock wheels. Style 65 BMW wheels. The previous owner did install a dine and rear sway bar, which was nice. Um, that's something I would have wanted to do if the car came with a stock one. Go ahead and show you guys the interior. Like I said, Silverstone uh, interior. It has the Titan line trim with the full leather dash, along with the leather on the top of all the doors. The lower dash is also leather. But yeah, I'm very happy with the condition of the interior. For a 15 year old car, it's not bad. It does have the Alcantara headliner. Uh, the previous owner also installed the Homelink at a BMW dealership in 2002, I believe. Um, so that's nice, I don't have to deal with that. The 2000s didn't get Homelink, so that's another plus. Um, he did also hardwire a Valentine radar detector, and it actually. Um, the dealership included that with the sale, so it comes with a Valentine and it was already hardwired. I have had to replace this center uh, Titan trim piece as well as this shift boot and knob. I also did add the 16 by 9 inch display uh, along with a, an updated radio in the back, so the BM53, uh, which supports Sirius XM radio and uh, auxiliary. So I have both of those in this car. I actually have uh, Bluetooth auxiliary, so I connect my phone up to Bluetooth and it plays through the audio system, which is really nice. I also added the uh, M uh, logo on startup, so that looks nice. There's a video on the channel on how to do this in your uh, pre-facelift M5. So previously I had the 4x3 in there, and I think the 16x9 does look a lot nicer. Previous owner did have the pixel issue fixed. As you can see, the gray gauges mean that these were replaced. Uh, the 2000s would have come with black gauges. And I do have records of uh, this going to a dealership and them swapping out the clusters. Pop up the mileage for you guys. Right now we are at 87,698 miles. We'll go ahead and show you guys the rear seats. This car did not come with split folding seats. Some of the maintenance I have had to do, nothing major, um, I guess I'll go through them. I've changed the oil, just kind of your basic uh, maintenance stuff like transmission fluid. Uh, we've done cabin air filters, engine air filters, I've done the thermostat, um, I have done the oil separator hoses upper and lower and actually replaced the oil separators themselves. Um, other than that. 
nothing major. Uh, this car hasn't been giving me any issues. I did have the AA code for carbon buildup, like all of these do, and uh, recently remedied that with a shark injector tune, which uh, I'm very happy with that. There's a video on the channel of how you can install that on your M5. Yeah, I have facelifted the headlights. These are uh, the Hella OEM uh, European spec headlights, and uh, I'm very happy with these. But the facelift, uh, I'm sorry, the taillights have not been facelifted yet. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to facelift those yet. Um, I guess we can take a poll in the description. Um, sorry, in the comments. And you guys let me know. Do you guys think I should facelift the taillights or should I keep them pre-facelift? A lot of people say the pre-facelift have this classic BMW look to them. And... Uh, some people prefer them, some people don't. I'm kind of stuck in between, I'm not sure what I want. But for now, I'm keeping the preface of This is the glorious S62. Future plans are to replace this uh, expansion tank. Uh, as they age, they get yellow. They're supposed to be bright white, so um, that's something I'll do in the future. Uh, let's do a little sound clip here. I'll show you guys what it sounds like. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any questions, I guess you could leave them in the comments below. Uh, this is my 2005 and yeah, I'm very happy with the car. Uh, big improvement coming from a 2002 530. Um, that's still a very awesome car, but uh, this is something special. Uh, this is made by the M Motorsport division and it still remains one of the um, best BMWs in my opinion that they've ever made. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the car. If you have any questions, like I said, leave them in the comments. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Say hello to the guys riding their bicycles. Uh We have security coming up on us here. Let's see if he'll tell me anything. Nothing. 